There we are. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. My name is Don Daniel, and they call me ICE. It's, it stands for Interest Cancellation Expert. I've been doing this for 16 years, helping people to understand how mortgages and amortization schedules actually work. And we're going to get into the bank's math today on what it is, what is it that they're doing that we don't understand, that we've never been taught, um, and how that impacts us long term. And what is it that we could see, but we don't see because it's designed that we don't see it. Do you know that we are in a situation that is designed for us to miss out on what's actually going on? We think, we think that because of the life that we live, because of the money we make, because of the jobs that we have, because of the education that we have, because we can go anywhere, do anything, uh, drive whatever we wanna drive, go wherever we wanna go, live where we wanna live, vacation where we wanna vacation, because of those things, we think everything is okay. I'm here to tell you, there is so much behind the wizard's curtain we need to see what's back there. What is the wizard doing? <laughs> what's the, what is the wizard doing to manipulate this whole situation so that we can have what is called true freedom in finance? Right now, our finances aren't free. Right now, our finances have been hijacked. Right now, we have been made to be a natural resource. Watch this now. We've been made to be a natural resource so that the uber rich can take our time and our effort and turn it into money that's being funneled to them. At the same time, we believe we're living a great life. Let me tell you folks, the average family pays 35 to 39% of their take home pay on interest. I wanna show you how powerful that is. When I have money and I'm lending it to you, my, that's my whole job, all right? If I have money and I'm lending it to you, that's my whole job and I want to do it, I wanna do my job so well that you don't realize how much money you're actually giving me. Oh my goodness. I can make you believe that you're living well while you're giving me way more money than you should. I want you to borrow money from me for as long as you can and pay me money as much as you can at the same time you believe you're doing um you're doing quite well in life boy i tell you what if i could do that if i can pull that off you talk about being a marketing genius i would be a marketing genius if i could pull that off so listen, I need a few more people in here because I want to play a video for you that helps you to see what's going on. And if you listen, I want you, if you're on Clubhouse right now and you want to see this video, this is going to um, this is uh, going to be a lesson in what's called inattentional blindness. We're blind to what we don't pay attention to. So while you are are um, sharing this, while you're getting ready to be on either YouTube or Facebook. Go to YouTube or Facebook, uh, Twitter or LinkedIn on a secondary device on your tablet or your laptop computer. And I want you to log in and I want you to see this. If you're already online, I need you to share it to other people so that they can see this short video, okay? You're gonna be watching something on the screen and I need you just to do a little bit of counting. What you're gonna be able to see is some people in white shirts and I need you to come up with the right number. I need you to focus on how many times the people in white shirts pass the ball around. 
and, and listen, concentrate and come up with the right number. If you come up with the right number, you will be able to see what I'm talking about. Okay, so go ahead, start sharing the room. All right, share the room. And while you're sharing the room to get more people in, while you're getting online so that you can actually see this, this is going to be amazing. I want to start here first, okay? I have a door hanger here. And I want to talk about this while you're sharing the room, all right? This door hanger says, um, uh, it's called Hurricane um, Bin Cleaning. Hurricane Bin Cleaning. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because... Um, after I graduated from high school, the very next year, I talked to my dad and he was excited about a business venture that he had. And it was, it was, it was, it was, it was essentially this hurricane. It was, uh, it was bin cleaning at, at that time. There were metal trash cans way back when, okay, there were trash cans, but he had an idea of taking a truck, outfitting it with some kind of sprayer or whatever, um, and to clean out trash bins so they wouldn't be smelly. Um, and at the time, he worked for Kellogg's, which was a very good job. And he went back to school, got, uh, got his degree, um, and then got a, a, you know, an executive um, position at a Kellogg company. And at the time he was living in um, Kellogg's, was uh, still doing manufacturing and doing some things in um, Nebraska. And so he was in Nebraska and he told me about this. Guess what? He never fully pursued his dream. Never. It never came to fruition. Somebody had the idea years later and is now doing it. I, I, and I doubt if he's the only one doing it across the country. Why am I telling you this today? I'm telling you this today. If you have a dream and you're not pursuing it. You see, my father died a few years ago. Never having pursued his dream of being in business. He kind of half started it, but didn't fully engage in that and he died with his dream in him so folks i'm telling you today back in um when i was i was a firefighter for 17 years you have to be a firefighter for 25 years where i come from to be able to retire with a pension to be retired have have retirement income I was eight years away from retirement. I was a lieutenant um, making good money uh, on the way to becoming, uh, taking the test to become a captain and make even more money by the time I retired. And what they do is they base your retirement income on your last five years. Okay. Uh, a percentage of their last five years of working for the fire department. What did I do? I could have been a captain in the fire department for those last five years, making close to top money in the fire department. But after 17 years, I decided to quit that job and to do this. That was in 2007. And I've never looked back. Do you know how many people told me that was the wrong thing to do. Do you know how many people told me, why did you quit that job? Do you know how many people told me, why did you quit so close to retirement? Why? To start a business that, uh, to solve a problem, most people don't even know they have. Most people don't realize that their problem with debt is not the amount of debt that they have. Most people, they don't realize that um, it is how much interest you're paying on the debt. And it is a huge amount. It is a huge problem. That So we answer questions about finance. Most people don't even, haven't even asked the questions of, about. They don't even know what question to ask. 
We give answers about something most people don't even know to ask the question. They don't even realize that they have the problem. And that's why I need you to watch that video today. So now I think we have enough on and we're going to start this. So if if you are watching the replay, if you're listening to this replay, I need you to watch this video right now. So we've got some comments on here. All right. Jeremiah Sam says, uh, good morning. And I've got some folks in here on on the clubhouse. So I hope that if you want to see this, go to YouTube on your secondary device, on your tablet or your computer, go to YouTube or Facebook and watch this video. We're getting ready to play. It. Are we ready? I, I think we're ready to go ahead and start playing it right now. Here's what I want you to do. Count the times the people in the white shirts pass the ball. And I need you to put it in the comments or put it in the chat on Clubhouse. So let's play the video. This is a test of selective attention. Count how many times the players wearing white pass the basketball. How many passes did you count? Let's stop the video there. Let's pause it. The correct answer is 15. All right. How many got the, how, how many got the answer right? How many got the answer right? How, if, you, if you saw that, how many times was the ball passed? Okay? If you saw that. All right. Does it, did, did I have people who watch that video? All right. So if you saw it online, go ahead and put the number in. All right. Let's continue to watch the rest of the video. Let's watch it. Hey, Don. Yes. Uh, I, I can't I can't pause the video when I play it through StreamYard. <laughs> oh, you can't pause it? I, 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 I can stop the video, but. Oh, well, uh, let, let's play the whole thing again then. All right. Here we go. Okay. This is a test of selective attention. Count how many times the players wearing white pass the basketball. How many passes did you count? The correct answer is 15 passes. But did you see the gorilla? This video is from research by Daniel Simons and Christopher Chabri and is copyrighted. Okay, we can cut it. It is available. We can stop it now. All right, folks, here's what we're talking about. We had a video online where you could see people in white shirts passing a, uh, a basketball around. And the correct number of times they passed the ball was 15. But they were so focused on the basketball, they didn't see a person in a gorilla suit walk right in front of the screen, beat his chest, and then walk off the screen. That's called inattentional blindness. What is it that banking is doing to get us to be so focused where we shouldn't be focused so that we can pay more interest than we need to pay? I'm going to go over the math today that, that, that the banking institution is using to keep us in debt forever. Now, Am I anti-bank? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not anti-bank. In fact, I use the bank's money. I, you know, I, I like using the system. 
But what we're going to be able to see is helping us to understand what we what we should have been taught, maybe even back in junior high school about how this system works. But we're going to use this idea of understanding the math. So continue to I've got two shares in the room, only two. Can I please folks do me a favor, go down to the bottom, see that little um, box with the arrow coming out of it. If you could just hit that box and just share the room, even on Clubhouse, more people will be able to hear this because most people have never seen this kind of math before as to why they're in debt. And I need your help to get the information out. So I'm gonna share it one more time. Let's share the room. Let's get it out there. You can share it on Clubhouse. You can share it on YouTube. You can share it on, on uh, Facebook, on your pages. Uh, so go ahead, share the room, and let's go ahead and get started this morning with this information. And anytime you have a question about what we're going over, raise your hand and come up to the stage. So I'm gonna move this over to here, all right? And we're gonna put that, we're gonna share, let me see, make sure I'm sharing the screen first. All right, share screen. And I'm gonna take this out, all right? And we're gonna share screen two. All right, and then we're gonna turn on this. So move this out of the way, oops, wrong thing. All right. There we go. All right, there we go, and there we are. All right. Here's what we're going to be talking about, folks. We're going to get into this thing and and show the math here. And you need to be on. You need to be able to see this to appreciate it. Um, and you want to um, be on YouTube, um, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and you can see what we're talking about. What we need to understand is about mortgage math. Is that we're supposed to be able to pay off all of our debt in an average of seven to nine years. That's what we're supposed to be able to do. That is, you've got a mortgage, you've got student loans, you have credit cards, um, you have car loans, okay? And um, there's nothing wrong with borrowing money. In fact, it's right. I love borrowing money. And so when we're talking about how to pay all this stuff off, we can do this thing without paying all of this interest. Do you know you can disrupt the bank's ability to charge you all this interest by understanding the math involved? So here's where we're going to do. We're going to get started here and understand what is happening with this math situation. But first of all, first of all, if you want to know, if you want to know more about what we're talking about and, and understand it, then you want to be able to contact us a little bit later. Um, you can contact me at ice10k.com so that uh, you can get a savings and earnings report so that when you understand the math, you can put yourself in a position to cut all of that out or you can go to pillmethod.com, all right? Also, I have a book that kind of helps you to understand the basics of this mortgage math. And we're gonna see why is it, what is so important about us learning this? It's so important because people that we count on to counsel us about finances, they don't know the math either. All right. So that's what the book is about. So let's get into this thing. Did you realize, did you realize that 90% of the people you know with a mortgage will never own a home free and clear? And the reason for that 30 year loans should pay off in an average of seven to nine years. Not just the, not just the mortgage, not just the mortgage, all of your debt, student loans, credit cards, car loans, everything you have. The average family has 13 different debts and they have, watch this, they're paying out 35 to 39% of their take home pay to the uber rich, to super rich people. And they're taking, our, they're taking our families 
and they're turning us into uh, uh, taking this natural resource. You see, a natural resource left in the ground makes no money. You get a diamond out of the ground. You got to clean that diamond up. And then you've got to take it to somebody skillful that can polish it up and, and, and cut facets into it. When coal is left in the ground, it's, worth, it's, it's not worth anything to the people who are mining the coal. If there's gold out there in them, there are hills, but it's left in the ground, it's not valuable to you. So what do the uber rich do? They set up a system whereby they can take our effort, our time, um, our ingenuity, and turn it into money for them. And all they have to do is make sure that they're lending you money for as long as you can, for as long as they can, for as much as they can. And they take this natural resource, which is our time and effort, and turn it into money for them. You know how powerful that is? There, it's, it's, it's the ultimate in leverage. It's the ultimate in arbitrage. I take something I don't actually own, but I control. I control people. I just don't own them it, because it's illegal to own people now. <laughs> it's illegal to own them but it's not illegal to control them. And the ultimate in control is to give the illusion of freedom. I have the illusion of freedom, but I'm being controlled to turn over 35 to 39% of my take home pay just in interest payments alone. If you don't believe me, Take out all of your debts when this is over and count up and, and go to your statements and just find out not the entire payment, just the interest portion of the payments. Okay. Add up all the interest portions of the payments that you're making right now and then do the math and you'll be able to see that the average family pays 35 to 39 percent of their take home pay just in interest alone, they, and you don't even realize it because you're living well in the illusion of freedom. How about that? Come on, let's see what else is happening here. The only way this can happen is, uh, so you can, you can own your home free and clear. You can own it free and clear, but the only way you can do it is through optimization. You have to learn the math and make the math work for you. Every person should own their home in an average of seven to nine years, but you can't do that without optimizing, without having a system in place that beats, meet, that beats the bank system. And what we've been told, folks, here's what we've been told that it is so easy, it is so easy, you can do this on your own with a pencil and paper by, by, by employing a few tips and tricks, you can pay off your debt faster and cheaper. Oh yeah, but it's, it's not that simple. It is not that simple at all. What they're trying to make you believe is what, we're, what we here at The Pill Method is, are offering you is just a better way of doing it. Like I'm offering you a better pair of running shoes to run the race. You're already running the race and you're already running it well. All right. And I'm going to offer you a better pair of running shoes than the ones you have now so that you can do slightly better than you're doing now. Folks, that's not it at all. What I'm offering you with the pill method is oxygen so that you can live. That's how deep this rabbit hole goes. <laughs> they, they, they're robbing us of oxygen and we don't even realize it. So we're trying to pump oxygen back into it so that you can live um, um, uh, exponentially better than you're doing right now, even though you believe you're living well. How would you like to be doing exponentially better 
I'm talking about numbers beyond numbers. Once you understand what the bank is doing with this math. All right. So how do we do this? How do we get there? Let me let me show you how we're going to get there to own free and clear. And we're going to be able to do this without refinancing, without changing your budget, without making more money and without sacrificing lifestyle. OK, guess who doesn't know this math? Let me give you a let me give you a clear indication of who doesn't know the math. I got five shares in here and I'm, I'm thanking everybody who's in here right now, but let's keep sharing. Let's get some more people in. And if you have a question or a comment, 10 K, I didn't even see you, man. I'm looking at the stage. How are you doing this morning? And I'm absolutely amazing. Give to show some support. Give to show some love for my family. What's up, Don and the family? How's everybody? Listen, man, we, we, we're, we're, doing, we're doing quite well. And I want you to know that um, when I came into the office this morning, um, I'm showing, I showed on the screen a, um, uh, a door hanger. And on this door hanger, um, 10K, um, is a, a business. And the business is called Hurricane Bin Cleaning. Hurricane Bin Cleaning. And what this guy does is he goes around and cleans out uh, trash cans so they won't be smelly. And he's got, you know, he's got a he's got a monthly plan. He's got a quarterly plan and he's got a bi yearly plan. Do you know why this door hanger caught my attention today? Would you like to hear it? Because when I graduated high school, the very next year after I graduated high school, my dad told me he wanted to start this business told to, to me in great detail you know what didn't happen you never pulled the trigger never pulled the trigger never pulled the trigger never fully engaged his idea and now somebody else has it years and years and years later wow and now my father's passed away you know how many ideas are in the graveyard? Way too many. And folks, this is why we're here today. When you understand what your gift is, and I thank you for playing what you played this morning, <laughs> 10K. When you understand what your gift is, pursue your gifts with all speed and all effort. Leave nothing on the table. And that's why we're here today talking about what we're not seeing about this financial situation so I can show you the math. 10K, what do you have to say about that? I mean, Don, look, at the end of the day, when you're going all out for your dreams, you'll realize that door hanger that you saw was just a variation of the dream that your dad had. That was not your dad's dream. It was just a variation of your dad's dream. The dream that's for you is for you. Whatever is in you is uniquely in you. And you just have to take action on it. And if you do, you're going to feel so much more rewarded. And the God that we serve that put that dream inside of you will plant the seed and the way in you for you to go execute that vision. So as you rightfully said, Don, start acting on your vision, start acting on your dreams. All of them. Don't be afraid. It's being given to you for a reason. Never be afraid. Never be afraid. Because you know how many people, Sean, do you know how many people told me in, in 2007 not to quit the job at the fire department? So because because you only have um, um, eight years to go for retirement, eight years to go to retirement. And I was going to and I was a lieutenant at the time. I was going to be a captain. OK, I was going to take the test for captain. I do well on on. Um, Multiple choice test, by the way. <laughs> so um, I was going to take the test for captain and I was going to be paid a percentage of my last five years at the fire department, including what I make in overtime. But I left that to start a business. To solve a problem that most people don't even know they had. What do you think about that, Sean? What I think is what you've created and what you're earning through your business, there's no way that five fires job would have paid you if you had made it out alive. You gotta remember it is firefighting. 
Ooh. Don't, be, don't get a thing twisted. So I think what you're doing today and the reward you're receiving today since you have left has been dramatically different as opposed to if you had stayed. You know, Sean, that's correct because it didn't start out that way. It didn't start out that way. But do you realize that I make more in a month than I did in an entire year working at the fire department? And, and what we're doing is making sure that we are helping people, that we're serving people well, giving them more value than they ever have paid in money. When you give more value than you ever, than people pay in money, they will not only do business with you because they will know you, they will like you and they will trust you. They will tell other people about you because you're giving more value than you're ever taking in money. And that's what we're talking about here today, giving more value, because this is information, this is information that we're giving out, Sean, that not even, I'm showing this on screen, if you're new to the room and you want to see what we're talking about, go to YouTube, go to Facebook, share, uh, and then search for uh, Pill Method on your secondary device, and then watch us live. Watch us live, okay? So it, the, the reason why we're doing this is because the math that we're going over this is this episode is subtitled mortgage math. The math that we're going over is math that accountants don't know that they're not taught in accounting school. Financial planners don't know it because they're not taught either. Not even people who work in the bank that we call bankers know mortgage math. Mortgage math is designed so that you pay 75% more in interest than you were supposed to pay. And that is why we are in debt forever. Not the amount of money that you borrowed. And don't let people tell you that you're in the financial situation you're in because you're irresponsible. I, I, I beg to differ. Most of us are in the financial position we're in because we're following best practices taught to us by so-called financial gurus because they don't understand what's happening behind the scenes. There is a wizard behind that cur curtain, folks. There is a wizard um, pulling all the levers and controlling us because it is illegal to own us. And I'm talking about all people. It is illegal to own, but it is so much better to control and give the illusion of freedom. So let's continue on here. Um, Sean, will you, before I continue, will you please introduce yourself? Because I know you're busy. You might have to go. Would you introduce yourself and tell people what you do? And if you have, if you have a Black Friday offer, now would be a good time to share it. All right. So good morning, guys. How are you? Um, I'm originally known as 10K Cars, guys, the founder and CEO of the Digital Business Card. I am one who a fire have been lit within me and... Uh, I live daily for the truth that I believe in. I live for what's right. And I'm never, ever compromised by surrounding situations and circumstances that will alter my belief for what's doing, for fighting for or standing for what's right. And uh, recently, my main account was terminated for asking questions, which inspired me to ask more questions. Because I truly believe when the wounds are there and you want to clean those wounds, you have to open up those wounds and clean it. And this is to the point of what you're doing, Don. Most members are actually wounded by paying extra um, interest rate, but they're not aware of it. And uh, you asking them to open up their payment schedule and look at the amount of infection slash interest they're paying and trying to get them to squeeze out that extra interest, it becomes a little painful. Sometimes people don't want to go into the womb. Come on, man. I'm comfortable. It's easy. It's not bothering me that much. But if they open up that wound and squeeze out an extra interest that they're paying, they can not only be healthy and happier financially, but they'll be able to do more things. They'll be able to do more for themselves and their family. So I don't want to use the time to pitch the digital business card that they can find on 10kcars.com. I want to use this time to double down on what you're doing and to share with the audience that if you truly want to live an amazing life, you want to start removing all the wounds within your financial life. You want to remove all the bleeding that's taken place. Stop putting the plaster on them. Go to the source and solve, this, solve the source problem. And that's what Don is here to share with you today, guys. So 
I want to yield my time in support of what Don is doing. I mentioned to everyone, pay attention to what he's doing. Call someone into the room. Invite someone to be part of the conversation. Because when he's finished and the light bulb turns on in you, that fire is lit within you, you will never be the same again when it comes to how you look at the finances. So with that said, Captain Don, I'll pass my back over to you. Thank you very much, Sean. Listen, folks, here's where we are. Why is it that we're in the position that we're in? Why is because the ability to read an amortization schedule. And, you know, when I first teach this to people, they have a hard time pronouncing that word. Amortization. Amortization. Amortization schedule. Okay. When you can read, the ability to read an amortization schedule is not taught at any level of financial education. Accountants don't get it. Real estate agents don't get it. Loan officers don't get it. Um, um, CPAs don't get it. People who go to school in business don't get it. Do you know how many people have appeared on this stage that have all of these degrees and all of this, uh, all of these uh, certificates and they've never been taught how banks actually make their money through this math, banking math, mortgage math? You, uh, you see, if you understand it, if you see it, you can't ever know how they do it because it's so easy to undo. Oh my goodness. I'm going to show you some things today. All right. So what, what, let, let, let's see. So um, we want to make sure that what's not taught in school is taught to you today. If you want to understand this math, what what the banking is doing to us i need you to put a number nine in the chat okay i need you to get into it uh lisa randall just subscribed to my youtube channel very th thank you very much uh lisa so i'm asking people today if you want to know the bank's math what they're doing to keep us in debt forever that's not being taught to us in school put a number nine in the chat right now put it in if you see it and if you're online go ahead and put it in there i have i have some people online i've got people here in clubhouse and the number of people that we have here on clubhouse is growing okay we got 17 now go ahead and keep sharing keep sharing the room and now i need you i need you to see this all right watch this Pill method stands for prepayment of principal, isolating the principal amount, leverage, and liquidity. We need to understand this because it helps us to understand the bank's math. All right? When we understand the bank's math, we make it impossible for them to charge you all of that interest. You know, how would you like to, listen, how much you guys paying for gas? How would you like it to, to, to make it impossible for the, for the gas stations to charge you um, at least a two, the, the two dollar, the, let's say you can, you can get gas for a dollar a gallon. Let's say if you can get it for a dollar a gallon. How would you like it, how would you like it to make it impossible for the, for the, the, the gas stations to charge you more? Yeah, that's all right. You can't charge me any more than that. I'm going to pay a dollar a gallon. In fact, I'm going to pay less than a dollar a gallon. How would you like to make it impossible for them to do that? How would you like to make it impossible for the banks to charge you 75% more interest than you need to pay? Let me break that down into something that we can visualize. Let's say on all of your debt, you're supposed to pay $300,000 in interest. How would you like it if you, no matter what they did, based on what you're currently making, you only had to pay $90,000 in interest. So that $210,000 that they wanted actually went to paying back the loan. Ho, 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 ho! Come on! You're making it impossible for them to charge you two hundred. That's a $210,000 savings. But some people, some people are going to continue to give the bank $210,000 in interest they don't need to pay. 
because we are so embroiled, baked into the system, we can't see our way out. I'm gonna show you some things today. So now right now, I'm putting on the screen the bank's formula to charge you all of this interest. Do I understand the formula? I listen, I can't even I can't even do this math. I can't even do that. I, I'm gonna simplify it for you. All right. But it all I know is it costs us way too much money. All right. And what we've come up with is a system to beat this, to beat the bank at their own game doing this. So if they have a formula, if they have a formula that does all of this, this is their formula. Where is your formula or, or, or algorithm to beat them at their own game and to cut your interest cost by 50 to 75 percent? Do you have one? See, they're giving us simple things to do, um, like round up your mortgage payment or do a bi-weekly payment or refinance and get a lower payment. So we're doing something and we think that's all we can do because they, because this is what we hear all the time. Round up your payment, do a bi-weekly payment or refinance or maybe a combination of all three. That's what we've been taught. But folks, what we're gonna be talking about today is infinitely more powerful than the three things we have been taught over the years, at least for the last 88 years. Okay. I saw some number nines in the chat. All right. I saw Lisa Randall says she wants the keys to the vault. Okay. We're going to get there. And let me show you. And here's what bank owners do not want you to know right now. Amortized interest is deceptive. Amortized interest is deceptive. The math involved is deceptive. And this is what I mean, that the interest rate you are quoted is not the interest rate you pay. Oh, my goodness. Listen, I got more people in the room. I got thank you for sharing. Continue to share. And if you're new to the room and you want to see what we're seeing, go to YouTube or Facebook. Or Twitter or LinkedIn search pill method and watch us live on a secondary device. So you can still hear us on Clubhouse, but you're watching my screen on your on these streaming, uh, on these uh, social media platforms, all right? So let's go there and watch. So I've got, ooh, I've got more people watching. Thank you very much. Continue to share. I got more people in Clubhouse. So the interest rate you are quoted is not the interest rate you pay. Here is an example of what I'm talking about. I'm putting on the screen right now, a $500,000 mortgage at 3%. Oh my goodness, we can't even get 3% anymore. <laughs> it's like 7% now, right? All right, so when we're talking about this $500,000 mortgage at 3%, using the bank's math, using bank math, here's what happens. The bank wants you to pay $258,887.20 interest on a $500,000 loan. I will repeat that. I need you to think about this very hard. $258,887.20 interest on a $500,000 loan. Is that number 3% of the $500,000? Is that 258000 Is it 3% of 500000 I need you to put it in the chat. Is it? Is, is that 3%? Does, does that sound like 3% to you? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And here's why. Because it's actually 51.777%. All 3% loans. So deceptive that they want us to pay back more than 50% of what we borrowed. You see, $258,887 is more than half of the money borrowed. So by the time we're paid this back, a $500,000 house, what we're paying in total is $758,000, more than three quarters of a million dollars we're paying for a $500,000 house. Folks, do you want to pay your money like that? Because we don't know the mortgage math. 
Is that, is that what I'm hearing today? Do you want to keep doing that? So here's what we can do about it is understanding what's really going on. I need to, I need to dig down just a little bit deeper into this mortgage math because the way that they do it, the way that they do it, a 4% loan is actually 71.87% because the bank wants us now to pay 359,348. That's what's happening. Okay. A 5% loan. If it's 5%, the bank wants us to pay 93% of what we borrowed. Listen, on a half a million dollar house, $500,000, can you imagine a system that it's okay to pay back $466,279 in interest on a half a million dollar loan, making the total $966,000 you pay for your half a million dollar house at 5%? What? Yeah. That's 93%. So your your effective interest rate is really 93%, but they get to call it 5%. Well, right now, mortgages are, are over 6%. Even and if you could get a 6% mortgage, listen to this. On a $500,000 mortgage, the bank wants us using their math, and I'm going to show you their math, how they do it in a minute. But using their math, you pay... $579,000 interest on a $500,000 loan. You actually pay more in interest than you borrowed in principal, which makes your mortgage, that makes your house cost you over 30 years, not $500,000, but $1,079,000. Who wants to pay a million dollars for a $500,000 house. Do you? Don't you think it's about time we understood this mortgage math for what it really is? Thank you, uh, uh, Bantu. Thank you for sharing the channel. Thank you. Sounds Bantu. Thank you for sharing. All right. And I also, I want to take the time to thank those people who have shared the room so far. Thank you. Um, uh, shaking at um, uh, Atkins. Thank you, by, uh, Brian Jenkins. Thank you for sharing uh, Savage Marketing. Thank you for sharing the room. I appreciate it. I would love for others to share the room as well so other people can get in here. And if you're in Bermuda, if you know somebody in Bermuda if, or if you're on the line from Bermuda right now, um, Bermudian mortgages start at uh, like 7%, 7%, where if this was a mortgage in Bermuda, half a million dollars, or the median home price in Bermuda is over a million dollars. That's the median home price, over a million dollars, paying 139% of what they borrowed. So if they have a million dollar house and they at 7%, Okay, that's $1,395,000 interest on a million dollar home. So that becomes a $2.3 million, almost $2.4 million by the time we're done. That is way too much money, way too much money. Okay, and that is what the bank's math actually does. So let's understand what we're doing here and I'm going to break this down using this example, and then I'm going to show you the math, all right? So I'm going to show you what the math does, and then I'm going to show you how they are doing it. Oh, I'm up to 10 shares right now. Thank you so much. Keep sharing the room. Let's get some more people in here. Um, I've got more people on, on uh, line watching us, all right? S Cassandra Creech says, doesn't even seem legal. All right. That's what she's saying. All right. And we're so popular. We got some folks trying to advertise on our screen, but my engineer is going to block them out. <laughs> All right. So watch this, folks. Watch this. So we have a two hundred thousand dollar mortgage at six percent. Two hundred thousand dollar mortgage at six percent. Payment is eleven ninety nine ten. And because of what they're doing, the bank wants us to pay two hundred and thirty one thousand six hundred and seventy six dollars. Okay, that is um, 
$200,000 for the house, $231,000 in interest. That's one house for you and one house for the bank using the bank's math. We don't want to use their math, but if we don't know what it is, how can we stop it? All right. So total interest paid as a percentage of principal on this is 115.838%. Anybody want to sign up for a 100% loan and pay 100%. See, this bank's the, the bank's math is so powerful. They also realize that they chose a system that is so powerful it makes them so much money, but it has a really exposed um, weakness. It's exposed, but we don't see it. I showed a video in the beginning that it that 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 um, that uh, shows uh, inattentional blindness. It's right in front of us, but we don't see it. They get to charge us a hundred and fifteen point eight three eight percent on this on this mortgage even though the answer not to pay it is right in front of us. I want to thank Billy and Michael for coming to, and Salem for coming to the room. If you want to see these examples, please go to um, um, YouTube, um, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn, and search Pill Method on a secondary device like your laptop or your tablet, and you, you will search Pill Method, and you will find our live video right now so you can see what I'm getting ready to show. I'm getting ready to show how the bank gets away with charging us what should be 6%, but it really turns into 115.838%. That's what's going on, okay? All right, we got some folks here that are um, uh, looking to, to learn some things today. Watch this, if we have a mortgage here I'm going to show you what they're doing, and that, then I'm going to show you how they're doing it. Here's a mortgage of eleven ninety nine ten. It's a two hundred thousand dollar mortgage at six percent. I need you to see how they break this down. This is what you're doing. You're paying. You're paying a hundred and ninety nine dollars and ten cents in principal. That goes to the loan. They get a thousand dollars in interest. So you have a two hundred thousand dollar loan. You just made your mortgage payment of eleven ninety nine ten, but you only reduced the mortgage by one hundred ninety nine dollars and ten cents. The thousand dollars went to the bank. How fair is that? Let me show you a little bit of mortgage math right now. All right, I need to put on the screen. All right, I need to put on the screen my uh, calculator. Here we go. And. There it is. You should be able to see the calculator on the screen. Let me show you something, some mortgage math. We're paying $1,000 in interest. Watch this, $1,000 in interest, and we're going to divide it by the total mortgage payment, which is eleven ninety nine ten, one $1,199.10. Watch what happens when we click equals, that comes to 83.3, which means 83% of your payment goes to interest. 17% of your payment goes to the loan. If we were to break it down even further, your payment dollar, one dollar, one dollar of your payment, 83 cents of that dollar went to the bank. 17 cents of that dollar went to pay down your loan. What kind of system are we in that allows this to happen without educating the people? <laughs> what, what's going on? Folks, how does that make you feel when you have a 6% mortgage and 17% goes to your loan 17 cents out of every dollar goes to the loan, but 83 cents out of every dollar goes to the mortgage. How does that make you all feel? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What, let's, what, I, I, I need you to see something here. For them to make that kind of money, for them to make that kind of money, they can never let you know how it's done. 
This is why we don't learn mortgage math in school. This is our whole reason for existing. We exist to tell people this. This is why I quit my job in firefighting so that you can see this today. I quit in 2007. I've been working at this business ever since, and now we are multinational. We teach this all around the world, and my videos have been seen all around the world. We got clients that come into the room all the time. We got clients right now that are learning this mortgage math. All right. So what can we do about it? Let me show you something we can do. Then I'll show you the math behind it. So if we take a look and you take a look at the mortgage balance, when you take a look at the mortgage balance, the bank takes the mortgage balance and does something to it so that you can know how much interest you pay on the very next line. What is it that they do to the mortgage balance to figure out how much interest you pay on the very next line? We're going to show you, but let's see how much interest you pay on the very next line. Because of all the, because of how they do it, your second payment on this loan is $200 and 10 cents. And they took the principal balance from the month before to figure out how much interest you pay on line two, which is $999. You did pay $1,000 on line one. On line two, you're paying $999. That is an incredible amount of money. Every month, a little bit more goes to principal and a little less goes to interest until you've paid back 115.838% of what you borrowed. So if we now have the principal balance on line two, the bank takes that and then figures out how much interest you pay on line three. That's how it works. So let me show you where the weakness is on this. We have 14 people now watching us online. We have 18 people in the room. Go ahead, continue to share so that we can learn the bank's math. What are they doing to us that is hidden in plain sight that we should know, but we don't know because we haven't been taught. And folks, let me tell you, you don't know this because it's not because you weren't paying attention in school. You don't know it. Be, you don't know this because you um, you were were sleeping in class. The reason why you don't know this is because there was no class. This is the only class in the world that is teaching this right now. If you don't believe me, go on the internet right now and try to find an, a similar class. You won't find it. Watch this, folks. Here's what we're doing. Once we do this, if we pay this $200.10, reduce the amount of that we owe, we have the principal balance on line three, and the bank is going to now charge us um, the interest on line three, which is $9.98. Let me show you what you can do about it. Okay? What if... You made your payment on line one, took a look at your principal payment on line two and said, oh, we're making our first payment here in January. OK, let's just pick a month. We're making our first payment in January and we can see the February principal payment is two hundred dollars and ten cents. February principal payment, two hundred dollars and ten cents. Let me tell you. You don't have to wait till February to give the bank that $200.10. The bank would love it if you did wait till February because then they could charge you $999. So, but if you, if you could see how much they were looking for the next month, you could pay that early. What if in January you made your regular payment and you gave them an additional $200.10 if you had it? If you had it and you gave it to them in January as well, do you realize you would be paid down to line two on your mortgage in January because all $210, $200.10 would go to principal immediately. Immediately. Because you gave it to them early. And, you're, and because we look at the principal balance to see which payment we make next month, February's new payment now 
is actually on line three. It was the payment for March actually moves up one. Two, line two is knocked out for only $200.10. And because we do that, folks, because we gave that money to the bank early, what happens to the $999 on line two? What happens to that? It is eliminated. It is canceled. That is why they call me the interest cancellation expert. That $9.99 is canceled. You do not have to pay it ever. You just reduced your overall interest cost by $999 and eliminated one line from your mortgage payment, which means if you have 360 monthly payments, you only have 359 monthly payments now. That's it. That's how simple it is. This is why they don't want you to know. This is why banks don't even teach it to their employees. This is why real estate agents don't know it. This is why um, uh, mortgage professionals don't know it. They don't want you to know that because this is the weakness in their system. It is right there in front of us. So weak that if we did this instead, what if we made our mortgage payment on January, looked at this and gave them the next three principal payments, $200.10, 20110 and 20210. What if we did that? What if we did that instead? Do you realize what would happen to the next three interest payments as well? <laughs> that saves us nearly three thousand dollars in interest, folks, by understanding that the way that we have been taught to do this, we don't have to do it that way. <laughs> How do you feel about that? What do you think about that? Do I have do I have some uh, do I have something in the chat? Let's see here. Do people, listen, Brian Jenkins says it costs a lot not to have two hundred dollars and ten cents. Oh my gosh. By having, but you were going to pay it anyway. He says it's cost a lot. It costs a bunch of money. Not to prepay that nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. Wow. Just because we didn't know how the bank was doing the math part. Continue to we had ten um, shares. We have um, nineteen people in. We have people online continue to share this information. We just learned how to eliminate three mortgage payments. Okay. We started out with 360 monthly payments because we gave the bank $603 and 30 cents out of our bank account. That's making one tenth of 1% interest. Okay. We took some money out of the bank account, applied it to this loan and we took, and we turned 360 payments into 357 payments immediately in the same month, in the first month and saved us a total of almost $3,000 in interest we never have to pay. That's the bank's math for you. And now we're showing you how to um, upset their apple cart using pill method math, understanding what's really going on here. So let me show you how deep this rabbit hole goes by showing you the power of the penny. And then I'm gonna show you how the bank makes their money. How does their math work so that they can turn a 6% a, a loan into a 115% loan, okay? But we just learned that if I pay $200 at the right time, an extra $200 at the right time, it saves me about $1,000 in interest. But Don, what if I, what if I don't have that? $200, okay? What if I only have $100? What would that do for me? Well, that would be half the principal payment. So if we could pay half the principal payment, guess what? It saves you half the interest. Paying $100 there saves you $500 in interest. Is it still worth it? Yeah, you better believe it's worth it. What if I don't have that? What if I have half of the 100? I only have 50. Saves me 250 in interest. If I only have half of the 50, I've got $25. Let me take $25 out of my bank account and apply it to this mortgage and save $125 in interest I never have to pay. You see folks, the more interest you don't pay, the faster you get out of debt. It's not about coming up 
with, do I need to make more money? How do I use the money that I have to leverage that money so I don't have to pay all of that interest? 25 bucks, $2.50. I mean, see, $12.50 interest. That's half of the 25. Saves me $75 in interest I never have to pay. $12.50. Okay, $6.25. I only have $6.25. Enough money to buy something at Starbucks. I only have $6.25. If I applied it to this mortgage, it saves me $37.50 in interest. I never have to pay. Folks, this is the math we're talking about. This is what is being hidden in plain sight. This is called inattentional blindness right there in front of us. But we've never been taught, we've never been told, and we continue to pay this money like we've been like we've always paid it. And the reason why I believe that this is so important and the reason why I pick up pennies in the parking lot is just what you're seeing on the screen right now. A dollar 56 saves me nine dollars and 38 cents in interest I don't have to pay. But look at this one penny, the penny I pick up in the parking lot on this mortgage. Thank you, Toya, for, Toya, for being here. Um, if you want to see what we have on the screen, go to a, on a secondary device and you can go to YouTube or Facebook um, and search for Pill Method and you'll be able to see what we have on the screen because I'm you at you're coming in at the right time because I'm getting ready to show you the bank's math on how they turn a 6% interest rate into us paying them 115.838% instead. So folks, this one penny, the pennies I pick up in the parking lot on this loan would save me seven cents in interest. Seven to one. Are you kidding me? One penny would save you seven cents. It would make it impossible. You put an extra penny on that mortgage. It makes it impossible for the bank to charge you seven cents in interest. We need to put all the pennies to work, don't we? <laughs> all the pennies to work. I love that. I love it. So, folks, here's what we're talking about. We need to understand what's going on here. Now that you've seen this, now that you've seen this, I'm ready to show you what they're doing, the bank's math, how they turn. You Have you wondered how in the world are they using 6% and turning it into 115.838% and they're charging us all of that money? If you're wondering that, I'm getting ready to show you right now. All right. Um, so go ahead. Go ahead and continue. Continue to share the room. OK, continue to share the room. Oh, how are you doing, Coffee? I was so focused. I didn't even see you in there. How are you doing, Miss Coffee Brown? Hey, good morning, Don. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being here this morning. And we're going over the banks. We're calling this the we're calling this bank math how the bank has gotten away for years overcharging us and then turning us into natural resources to use our time, our talent, our effort, and funneling our money to the super rich. Um, 35 to 39% of our take home pay is now being funneled to the super rich while we believe we're have complete freedom. We're living well, but we don't understand that 35 to 39 percent of our take home pay is being paid to them while we have the illusion of freedom. You see, coffee, it is illegal to own people now, but it's not illegal to control them. And we're we, that they've gotten so good at the control. We actually believe we're free to do what we want, go where we want to go, live where we want to live. All right. Buy what we want to buy. <laughs> but we're totally unaware of how much interest we're consuming each month. What do you say about that, Miss Coffee? Whew. OK, Don, I'm, I'm over here at the gym getting this workout in and I am listening. That was a lot. 
uh, as Pastor Don today, Pastor Bishop Dr. Don, I am here listening and anticipating what you're getting ready to share next. That, wow, just wow. All right, folks, here's what we're getting ready to do now. I promised you, I promised you, I was going to show you, I was going to show you what they're doing. All right. Let me bring it up so that you can see now. We're going to bring it up on the screen. I'm going to put in an amortization schedule. Come on, let's go. New window, amortization schedule, and we're going to show you how they do it. I'm, I'm putting on the screen an amortization calculator that I'm getting from the Internet. This guy who wrote this, is, his name is Brett Whistle, B-R-E-T-W-H-I-S-S-E-L. This is not my program. This is what I use to teach my program, to give you a basic understanding. Here's what I want to share with you right now. We have believed for many years that the, this concept was so easy that all we needed was a few tips and tricks like giving you better running shoes to run a race. You're already running the race at record speed. I'm giving you some better running shoes so you can, you know, slightly improve your running performance. That's not what we're doing at all. What we're providing, okay, what we're providing is oxygen to suffocating people. That's how important this information is. Oxygen to suffocating people so that you can exponentially increase your family's wealth by cutting interest costs by 75%. Let me show you what they are doing and then you can see what you can do about it. So we're gonna put in that $200,000 mortgage at 6%. And it is exactly, as I said, 1199.10. This is the information you see when you close out on this loan. This is information they must show you now that the that the on the two hundred thousand dollars that you borrow at six percent, we're going to pay back two hundred thirty one thousand six hundred seventy six dollars in interest. And if we look over here, they must show you this as 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 well. Three days before you close on a new mortgage or refinance, they must show you what that interest rate really means. It is. It started in 2015. October of 2015 is when they had to start showing you this three days before you close. And even then, we miss it. It says right here, total interest paid as a percentage of principal, 115.838%. If you're getting ready to close on a loan now and you have that paperwork, I need you to find the page that talks about your interest rate and they have to disclose what the interest rate really means if you keep that loan for 30 years. It's on there. Trust me, it's there. Okay, 115.838%. Those who've noticed in 2015, my phone started ringing off the hook and it hasn't stopped ringing since. 115.838%. So let's talk about how they do that. Remember, I showed you that $199.10 goes to principal, $1,000 goes to interest, and this is our principal balance, $199,800.90. And the bank does something with this $199, $199,800.90. The bank does something with that to create how much interest they pay on line two. I'm going to show you right now. OK. All right. Cassandra Creech. Uh, yes, that's your loan estimate. Come on. That's what she said. That's what she said. OK. So, folks, here's what we're looking at. Here's what we're looking at. Um, uh, Horace Jenny says, good morning, everyone. All right. Good morning, sir. Brian Jenkins says, we sat down at the table um, at the No Money Down workshop in Houston. Um, and based on you explaining this to me that weekend, I have now I, I I now have extra principal payments on auto pay. Brian Jenkins, you have um, extra interest on auto pay. That is great. Guess what? I, I need you to stop right now and, and figure out how much interest you're saving each time you do that. You are saving a lot of interest. Would you like to save 
the most interest you possibly can per dollar, the only way you can do that is have a computer beat their computer to the punch. And we're talking about an AI system, artificial intelligence that does all of this for you. And using the money that you already make, do you realize that you can cut your interest cost by 75% even more than you're doing it now with the money that you have when you have a computer doing all the work for you? Ouch! Go to con contact us at um, pillmethod.com. Go to pillmethod.com and, and click that button that says get a savings and earnings report. And let us produce a report for you that will show you the month, day, and year you'll be debt free and how much interest you can actually save when you have a computer beat the bank's computer to the punch and save you even more money. Freddie Lawson says, does the pill method work if you have credit cards and student loan debt, no mortgage? Most definitely. It would work if you had um, mortgage and student loan debt and credit card debt and um, auto loan debt and any other kind of debt. <laughs> it would work on all of it. The average family has 13 different debts. Oh man. So yeah, um, th this idea, if it, if it charges interest, you're paying too much. If you're trying to eliminate interest on your own, you're still paying too much. Get a computer, our AI system that beats the bank system in charging you all that interest. And the extra interest we save you pays for your lifetime system. I'm going to use the bank's money to pay for the system so you don't have to. There you go. Watch this, folks. We're going to put that calculator on the screen. We're putting the calculator on the screen. Here's what's going on. Remember, the interest rate is 6%. So I'm going to put in 0 0.06 in the calculator, that represents 6%. Here's what the bank is doing with that 6%. All right, are you ready? All right, I need you to raise your hand if you wanna come up and ask questions, right? If you're ready, watch this. We're gonna take that 6%, we're gonna divide it by 12. This is what they're doing. They're taking the 6% and divide it by 12. Divide it by 12, and it equals 0 0.005. They're taking that number and multiplying it by each unpaid balance. So your new unpaid balance, it went from $200,000 to $199,800.90. So they're taking that $199,800.90 and multiplying it by the 0 .005. So we're multiplying it by... One hundred ninety nine thousand eight hundred dollars and ninety cents. There it is. And what do we get? Oh, nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. There it is. Nine hundred. What they're doing is taking one twelfth of the interest rate, multiplying it by the unpaid balance three hundred and sixty times. You thought. It was one mortgage, $200,000, and somehow they were taking 6%, but you just couldn't figure it out. They were taking 6% and then, and then coming up with, that, with all that. No. What they're doing is taking one twelfth of the interest rate and multiplying it by the unpaid balance 360 times. It's not one mortgage. It's 360 separate mortgages. By understanding the pill method, they don't get to charge you that 0.005% 360 times. By using the pill method, we're going to fix it so they only char they can charge you about 88 times or 90 times instead of 360 times. And if they charge you fewer times, that means more of the money you're already making goes to pay off your loan and then you can look at the amount of interest that you paid and subtract it from the interest that they wanted you to pay and that's your interest savings our program does that way ahead of time and anybody today today you can know 
how much you can start the process today and find out how much interest you can actually save and not give it to the bank on all of your loans by going to PillMethod.com or um, uh, click on my link. Oh, I don't even have my link up top. Let me put that up there. Excuse me. Let me put the link up there right now. And it is ice. 10 K.com. You can go to my link up top ice, 10 K.com. And that button is there too. get a savings and earnings report. Let me share with you someone else who has understood this and paid off their mortgage in record time using the pill method. Can we get a, can we get a little something from Dr. Um, Eric Thomas E.T., the hip hop preacher? Yes, that's right. E.T. is in the house and he paid his mortgage off using the pill method. Can we play that video right now? Listen to me, y'all. But one of his mentees took us through one of their programs and I paid off my mortgage. But guess what happened? My marriage went to a whole nother level. And you know why? Because my wife is a security freak. And even when I blew up, my wife would be like, oh, you blew up, but how long is you gonna keep making this kind of money? I was like, I don't know, forever. <laughs> She's like, you sure? Because I'm gonna keep my license as a nurse, just in case you don't. So when I paid the house off, my boy was like, you ain't gotta do that, you can do this. But when I paid the house off using that program, it took the stress level all the way down from my wife because we no longer had a mortgage. Yeah. Does that make sense? That thing that was coming every month that was getting on our nerves, we didn't have that no more. And so she was at rest. All right, folks. So listen, we had a client come into the office just the other day. We're playing this on TV here in Huntsville, Alabama. Okay, this is where I live. We're playing that clip on TV. Somebody saw it and they said, um, um, uh, the, the wife saw it and she said, I want that feeling too. The husband is making a lot of money, but you know, they go on trips, they do this, they do that, they're going, they're going all over the place. And she says, you know, even though we're paying all of our bills, we're paying them on time and even, we're even paying extra. But I want to be able to pay our stuff off in uh, like, like E.T. So when they came into the office, they, they, fill, they went online, they fill out their information. And guess what? They're going to be done in about three years. <gasps> All their debt. She feels so much better now. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being able to have that feeling of knowing the month, day, and year you're going to be debt free and how much interest you can save and taking that interest that you would have paid and now invest that money because we're going to show you a, a um, not only a savings per report, but an earnings report, taking the interest that you would have paid and show you how you can turn that into hundreds of thousands of dollars of, gener of creating generational wealth for your family and money you're not paying to the mortgage company. We're going to show you how to do all of that. Okay. Stop trying to beat the bank on your own. We have a proven system and we guarantee, listen to this now, we guarantee your results. All right. So listen, I need to, and let me share something with you right now, folks. If we have a book out. Let me talk about that. We, let's, let's do, I want to thank you for being here uh, through this part, but let's talk about some um, Black Friday gifts, all right? And Kurt, if you, have a, if you have a Black Friday special, you know, we'd like to see it, <laughs> okay? We'd like to know about it. So if, if you have a Black Friday special, you know how you can get, buy one thing and get, uh, uh, you know, another thing free? This week, we're giving, if you get the book, our Black Friday special is that we're going to give you two things free. Not just one, and this is going to be in celebration that this week is our anniversary week. Okay, we have of over 160, we have 165 shows up on YouTube right now. We started this over a year ago, sharing this information with you, and uh, as a Black Friday special and as an anniversary gift, we got two things for you. If you get this book today, 
If you get the paperback book, purchase the paperback book today. Here's what we're going to do for you. All you have to do is upload your receipt to me. Upload your receipt on IG, all right? And if you put in your, at, your, your, your name, your address, and your phone number, okay, along with that, here's what you're going to get. Um, you can get, we're going to make sure you get a 10K card, all right, just like the one that I have, a digital business card that, that has a, a value of over $100, a value of $100, okay? We're going to pay for that. You're going to get one of those. But why do I need your address? Because I'm also going to send you out. When you buy that book from Amazon, you're going to get one from Amazon in two or three days. But if you if you give me the information I'm asking for, I will send you out another book also signed by me. An autographed copy. So you get two books and one credit and, and, and one um, um, uh, uh, digital business card just for buying one book. Buy one copy of the paperback. Get a second signed copy and a digital business card. And what do you got to do? Upload your receipt to my IG. DM me. All right. You'll find it if you click on my profile. You scroll down and you'll see my IG. Go there and upload your receipt. Okay. And if you're online and you're watching this and you want to know, um, go to, if you go to ice10k.com and then um, go down on my ice10k.com and then you see meet Don Daniel, you click on meet Don Daniel, that, and, and that will open up another side of the card and all of my social media links are there. Okay. Send us that information on my, on, on our IG, our Instagram account, and then we'll send you out a book. And we'll send uh, the assigned copy of my book and we'll develop, have our team develop a 10K card or a digital business card for you. Thank you so much for everybody being here. Do we have any questions about, listen, online or um, in the, uh, you know, uh, that's in the room here? Um, let me see if I have any questions. Uh, so Freddie had a question and we answered it. Does the pill method work? Um, if you only have credit cards and student loan debt, no mortgage. Yep, the, it will work for you. It uh, depends on how much debt you have. All right. So let's let's. So thank you for that for that question. Are there any other questions or comments from um, uh, the audience, either online or in Clubhouse right here? Raise your hand or put something in the chat. Uh, I wanted to make sure that we got that math out. Did that, the, the math that we did for you, showing how the bank takes that money and um, does what they do with it, okay? So that, you, so that you are paying way more interest than you need to pay? Well, I'm getting ready to show you some other stuff because of the mortgage math what the what what they're doing okay we started this at we started this at 7 a.m. central 8 a.m. eastern time today all right jeremiah sam says how many accounts can the pill method handle unlimited unlimited accounts now um for most people so we do we do limit how many mortgages you can put in depending on which system you're using we have a system that you can put one mortgage in. We have a system you can put three mortgages in. We have another, <coughs> excuse me. We have another one that you can put um, 10 mortgages in. And we have another one that you can put 20 mortgages in. So, um, but the number of debts is unlimited. You can put um, an unlimited number of cars or student loans or uh, credit cards or car, it doesn't matter. Um, different loans that you have, as long as it's not a mortgage or it could be even personal lines of credit. 
we can take unlimited. The number of actual debts that the average family has is 13, and it can more than handle that. We can handle double that, can handle triple that, can quadruple that. So it doesn't really matter. We, there is no limit to the amount of debt you can put in this thing and, and let the, let the um, artificial intelligence take over and save you time and interest. All right? Thank you very much for that question. Do we have any other questions before we get into what the banking system is actually doing for doing to us in helping and, and, and causing us to pay more interest than we need to, even though we'd think we're, we're saving a lot of money. Okay. All right. No more questions. No more comments. Let's get back to our, um, let's get back to our amortization schedule. All right. Put that back on the screen. And then once we get over that, so let's go over this. I want to show you some things that people are doing right now based on the bank's math. Based on the bank's math, here's some things you never do. Okay. Number one, number one, never get anything less than a 30 year mortgage. Not when you understand the pill method. Never get a 15, never get a 10, not even a 25. Get a 30. And do you know there are some banks that are actually offering 40 year loans? The higher the, the, the term, the more years you get the mortgage for, okay, the more options it gives you to pay off the loan early. And a 30 year and a 40 year mortgage still pays off in about seven years. How about that? Okay, so why get a 15 when I can get a 30 and be done in seven? On average, I just don't do it. So the other thing you don't do, never put a large down payment on a loan. So let's say this 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 couple had this two hundred dollar mortgage, two hundred thousand dollar mortgage, and they said, you know what, we would much rather have a hundred and fifty thousand dollar mortgage. We got an extra fifty grand. Let's put it down as a down payment. Let me show you that you never do that either. So we're going to go to because of the bank's math. This is what it does to us. So I'm going to put another $200,000, uh, we're going to put, no, $150,000 mortgage in here, $150,000 um, at 6%. And our payment, because of that, is $899.33, because they paid an extra $50,000. They paid that to the mortgage, a, a big down payment. And they have... Um, instead of $231,000 in interest to pay over 30 years, they have $173,000. All right, let's bring up our calculator back on the screen. Okay, put our calculator back on the screen. And by putting that $50,000 down, let's see what our savings is going to be. So we're going to put in the $231,000. Okay, this is more bank math, folks. More bank math. $231,676. And we're going to subtract Let's see here. We're going to subtract 173,173 um 758 758.80, okay? So we could save $57,917. If we, if, we, if we prepay, I mean, if we, if we make it as a down payment, we save $57,000 over 30 years. You have to keep the loan 30 years to realize this $57,900.17. Uh, $917.20 worth of savings. You got to keep it 30 years to realize that. But let me show you something instead. Instead of taking that $50,000 and making a down payment, get the $200,000 loan. I need you to focus here on cumulative principal and cumulative interest. If you're new to the room and you want to see this, go to YouTube or Facebook, search P. 
pill method on a secondary device like your laptop or your computer. And then you'll see our live show and you can watch this. And I'm going to get ready to show you. Take the $200,000 mortgage instead of making a down payment, close on this loan. And if you if you would if if you had the choice between the two, a down payment, now you still have your fifty thousand dollars. What if you added that fifty grand to your first payment on this loan? Make your first payment and then add the fifty thousand dollars. Not before, but after you close on the loan. Watch what happens when I go down cumulative principal to fifty thousand dollars. Watch this. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. And. We finally, oh, there we go, $50,000 prepaid. We just knocked off 164 payments we never have to make. All right, let me get my calculator back on the screen. Oh, 164 payments we never have to make. Divide that by 12. We just eliminated over 13 and a half years off a 30 year note in just one month by taking the $50,000 and instead of making a down payment, we made a prepayment with the same $50,000 and knocked off over 13 and a half years. And um, let me see here, 50,000 and oh, saved ourselves $145,000 in interest in one month. 145 grand in one month, taking the same amount of money and making a prepayment instead of a down payment. <laughs> Brian said, that's insane. I know, I know, I know. Let's see. Um, so uh, Cassandra Creech online, she's watching us on YouTube, okay? Here's what she's saying. What has been the reaction from the banking and finance community to your system? There's, there's over 100 million, over 100 million mortgages out there, Cassandra. Over 100 million. In the 16 years that we've been in business, that this whole system has been out there, we've been able to help maybe a little over a million people. And there's over 100 million people out there with mortgages. We're not even a pimple on their behind. <laughs> but those million people are saving a lot of money. So uh, the question has to become, do you want to be part of the 100 million or do you want to be part of the 1 million that are save, that's saving money? So we're trying our best to get the information out there so we can listen. We need to, you, we can use your help. How would you like to be able to help us to get the message out? Share the room and share these videos. Share the videos with your family and friends. Okay, go online and share. You can be part of the solution so that we can help more people. The banks don't even notice what we're doing. They're making so much money. But thank you for asking, Cassandra. They don't care. Besides that, do you realize what banks are doing every five to seven years anyway? Even your own bank? Um, they're refinancing you. They want you to refinance every five to seven years. Do you know what has to happen to refinance you? They have to pay off the old mortgage. Even, even your own bank will offer you a lower interest rate or opportunity to refinance to pay off some you know, high interest debt or whatever. They're going to offer you a refinance, even though they have you locked in at a higher interest rate. They're going to, have, they're going to offer that to you every five to seven years, even your own bank. And what they have to do is pay off the old loan to give you a new one. They're already used to paying off loans every five to seven years already. I'm just, we're just doing it in a way that benefits you now. Thank you very much for asking that question. All right, folks, here's another thing you don't want to do in the last few minutes here, the last few minutes, 
Here's another thing you do not want to do. We just talked about refinancing, okay? Let me show you what would happen if you refinanced, okay, to this loan, all right? So we're showing you um, $200,000, okay, at 6%. What if you could refinance and buy a couple of points, okay? Refinance, you're at 150000 okay? You're going to refinance to 5%. Percent, okay, one hundred fifty thousand, and now your payment is eight oh five, but you paid about eleven grand to do that, okay. Well, you 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 have to pay the closing costs. You have to pay the closing costs, and buy the points. Now we're talking about maybe twenty grand to do this, taking twenty grand of your hard earned money, and paying fees, a fee to get the lower interest rate down to five and a fee to, to, uh, to, to close the loan. So about 10,000 to close the loan, about 10,000 to buy down the rate, okay? Because the rates are at seven, <laughs> seven and a quarter, all right? If you wanna get it down to five, you gotta pay for that. So let's just say we got this loan at eight, 805, okay? We're down to 150,000. Ooh, look at these principal payments, all right? Look at this interest payment, it's way low. But remember, you paid, you paid um, 200,000, uh, uh, 20,000 to get here. So we gotta add 20,000 to this loan. So now it's, it's 170,000. 170,000, now remember it was 805.23 before, you know, by putting that on there, it doesn't raise the payment all that much, okay? 805, okay, we're gonna take that out, see what it becomes now when we add the $20,000 on there. 805 and it comes to, oh yeah, it's 805.23, 805.23, look at that. All right, what was it at 150, I forgot. Now let me do it again, 150,000 and it is, Oh, 697.87, 697.87, and we um, got this better interest rate, okay? Cost us 20,000 plus the closing, okay? So that's 170,000, and we take that out. Now we're at 805, all right? Still less than the uh, 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 1199.10 we were paying, okay? Let me get this out of there, all right? And one more time, there we go. Ah, that's the real payment, 912, because I had this balloon payment in there, we didn't need that. 912 is the real payment, folks. 912 is the real payment, all right? 170,000, watch what happens because you gotta pay back the $20,000 you rolled into the loan. Remember, you were down to 150,000, you refinanced, bought down the rate, cost you 10, then another 10 for closing, 20 grand, They'll say, don't, don't worry about it. Just roll it into the loan. You'll still be under what you were paying before. Now, let's pay back the first $20,000. Let me show you what happens when you do that, even at the 5%. In the first year, you're only going to pay this loan back by $2,500 if you do it the bank's way. Look how much interest you're paying on $2,500, and that's just a fraction of the twenty grand you rolled into the loan just to get this loan. Okay? In... 48 months, that's three years, and four years, in four years, you've only paid down on the fee, 10829 and it cost you thirty two grand, almost thirty three grand to get to here. So we're trying to pay back the twenty grand you rolled into the loan, folks, to get this lower interest rate and to refinance to get, um, uh, to get a lower payment. You got a lower payment and a lower interest rate. So you've only paid back 10829 in four years, but you paid $32,000 in interest to get there. By the time you pay back the twenty grand, doing it the bank's way, you will be in this payment, you'll be in this mortgage for 83 months, almost 84 months. That's seven years. Seven years just to get rid of the, the payment. Um, okay, so 84 months. Let's bring our calculator out. Clear it out, 84 months, 
doing bank math today, doing the bank's math today, 84 months divided by 12 is seven years. So it's going to take almost seven years, one month shy of seven years to pay back the 20 grand you rolled into the loan just to get that lower interest rate. And guess what it's going to cost you total in interest? Five. $55,540.42. So, be careful what you pray for. You just might get it. To get that lower interest rate, you're going to have to pay for it. To get um, a, um, a, that lower interest rate and that lower payment, you're going to have to pay for it. But what does it really cost? What does it really cost? It doesn't cost you 20 grand. You add what you paid for it, the 20 grand plus the interest, that's 75,000 extra dollars you have to pay just to lower your <laughs> payment by a few hundred dollars. Folks, they are making money hand over fist because we don't understand the bank math. Okay, Cassandra Cree says, thanks, and I'm laughing at the, the, the pimple compound comment. Yes, I'm definitely sharing. Okay. All right, Cassandra. Thank you so much. All right, folks, listen, we're about done here. And Kirk, if you have a, if you want to come on and share with us a little bit in our last couple of minutes, I've done, I've done enough bank math for today. We've listened, folks, there's more, there's more where this came from. There's more where it came from. And if you want to know more, today is the day. Get your book, Get an extra book, all right, by um, buying the paperback and then uploading the picture and your address and your phone number to um, my IG, and we'll send you out a second copy signed and get you a 10K card as well, all right? I want to thank everybody for being here today, all right? Because, listen, um, this Black Friday, people want to get out and go shopping, Guess we're going to we're going to end just a little bit early. And um, um, but I'm looking to see if there are any comments, any questions. Here's your last chance to ask a question or make a comment before we get out of here and start our, you know, start our journey into the next week. Friday. Hey, Don. Yes. Can I hop in real quick, if you don't mind? You go right ahead, Coffee Brown. Hey, all right. Thank you. Thank you so much. First of all. Don, thank you so much for being here this morning. You and Kirk are absolutely phenoms and SMEs, just, just phenomenal human beings. So thank you so much to both of you. Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Holiday, all that good stuff. Um, I wanted to make an offer to the community. If you go to I am Coach Coffee, K O F F E dot com. There are some complimentary items that are available on the site. You have a download that's complimentary. And also our latest book is called Parenting Teens, The Tug of War to Adulthood. It is a phenomenal publication. It is a international best-selling project. And I strongly encourage you guys to go ahead and get the complimentary copy. I don't know how many copies are still available, but there are a few still available. So you want to go in there and snatch that copy of that publication. If you can't use it, bless somebody who has teenagers. And it will be a huge, huge blessing to them. I raised three children after my husband's passing. They were 8, 11, and 12 when he passed away got them to adulthood as virgins, all three of them, which is unprecedented and pretty much unheard of nowadays. And so we're excited about that. And in that publication comes some great tools, tips, and strategies to help you in raising successful teenagers so that they can become upstanding, morally compass citizens. It's so important that we get these children prepared. We have them for a very short time. They're adult for a long time. And so we want to make sure that they're prepared for adulthood. They're now Absolutely. all three are thriving. So 
super excited just to, just to share that with you guys. So go ahead to I Am Coach Coffee. That's K O F F E dot com and grab your complimentary items for this Black Friday. So Don, I wanted to offer that to the community as some gifts while we exit for the weekend. Wow. Thank you very much, Coffee. Listen, folks, um, I need you to do that. Go to Coffee Brown and um, and, and uh, get those complimentary items one more time, Coffee. How do we get it? I am CoachCoffee.com. I am CoachCoffee.com. Or you can go to Coffee10K.com and just DM me on Instagram, and I can just send the information from there. Either way, it's fine. Make sure you're following me so I don't you don't get in my spam. It's it's just crazy how Instagram is. You have to be following for me to really see your message without it going to spam. And that goes for everybody that's messaging Don and um, Kirk because you have to get into you have to follow them first in order for your information not to be spammed out. It's too hard to retrieve it that way. Make sure you're following so we can see your messages. Thank you very much, Coffee. Kurt Nugent is on the line. Amen. Kurt, what do you have to say to the folks this morning, man? Thank you very much for what you do to make sure our <laughs> message gets out there live. Absolutely. No, no. I, you listen, the, the, the value is, has already been given. Uh, people's minds have been opened. Uh, I saw a question in the chat that I'm pretty certain you're going to want to uh, touch on in just a second here uh, from, I think it's from Jeremiah. Uh, but anyway, um, the, the value has already been given. And this is this is what I love about live video, man. It, it's all happening right now. There are several of you watching live online, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. There are several of you in the in the clubhouse room doing it over there as well. It is Black Friday, as Don has mentioned. Um, I will be live uh, s at least twice more today, <laughs> twice more today uh, on Amazon live, uh, going over some some tips, tricks, best practices, some deals uh, on video equipment and gear. If that's something that you're into, uh, my, my, my family will be joining me for one of those shows. Uh, we're going to be talking about all kinds of things that are available for for sale uh, for Black Friday. So. Definitely would love for you guys to be able to check us out. Uh, Kirk 10K Live will get you to my digital business card. And one of those links on that on that digital business card is going to take you to our um, Amazon page. And that's where you wanna wanna, you're going to want to go to be able to check out some of those things. We will be doing some giveaways during those shows. So if you're, if you're interested in a, maybe a new mic or... Anything like that. I mean, some lights. I don't know. We've, I don't, I don't want to give away anything, right? You, you would have to check us out in order to see what those giveaways will be. But I will also share this. There is going to be a number of others, uh, my colleagues, other, other content creators, other influencers that are on the platform today, tomorrow, Sunday, and then, of course, Cyber Monday as well. This is, a, this is a time where we make a big push to really showcase some of the things that we have, answer your questions, and allow you to buy with confidence. That's really all it's about. A lot of people say, hey, hey, what's live selling all about? It's the only the, the quickest and easiest way I can define that for you is to shift the terminology. It is not live selling. It's actually live solving. I'm simply showing you what has solved a problem for me. And if, it's, if you think it will solve that same problem for you, then why not buy it? So that's that's really what we do on the platform. Uh, help people to be able to buy with confidence. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher. Excited about this Thanksgiving season. And one of the things I'm thankful for is people like Don who decided I am not going to keep my value to myself. I'm going to share it with the world in the best way I know how and, and, and make sure that we spread it out as wide and as far as possible so that people can not only hear this information, they can be impacted by the information. They can make changes in their finances because of this information and uh, set themselves up for financial success. That's what it's all about. Thank you guys so much. And thank you, Don, always for the opportunity to share a few words with the audience. You are so welcome, man. Listen, folks, we're going to get out of here a little bit early today. Uh, listen, I hope you had enjoyed your um, enjoyed your Thanksgiving um, and, and look forward to your Christmas. I appreciate you being here today and letting us share mortgage math with you with you today. And I hope that you've learned something. Get your savings and earnings report by going to 10K, um, um, ice10k.com oh, yes. and clicking on uh, getting a savings and earnings report so that you can know the month, day, and year. You can be debt free. Also, take advantage of the offers that we're offering today. Um, get to, Go to Amazon, get my book, mm -hmm. um, the paperback. And we'll send you out an, another paperback 
book signed. So you get two books for one and a 10K card. So take awesome. advantage of those awesome. offers today. Don't forget about Coffee Brown's offer. Right. Um, and uh, make sure that you you can get blessed that way as well. I want to thank you for being here. We're going to be back here on Sunday doing it all over again, giving you more valuable information. We're going to hear one last time from Dr. Eric Thomas, and I'm going to say goodbye to you until Sunday. Until Sunday. That's right. Until Sunday, folks. All right. Listen to me, y'all. But one of his mentees took us through one of their programs, and I paid off my mortgage. But guess what happened? My marriage went to a whole nother level. And you know why? Because my wife is a security freak. And even when I blew up, my wife would be like, oh, you blew up, but how long is you gonna keep making this kind of money? I was like, I don't know forever. <laughs> She's like, you sure? Because I'm gonna keep my license as a nurse, just in case you don't. <laughs> so when I paid the house off, my boy was like, you ain't gotta do that, you can do this. But when I paid the house off using that program, it took the stress level all the way down from my wife because we no longer had a mortgage. Does that make sense? That thing that was coming every month that was getting on our nerves, we didn't have that no more. And so she was at rest.